Hello everyone, this is Dr. Clark from the Center for Weight Loss Success, and on this episode of Weight Loss Surgery Success, we're going to talk about drive-through dilemmas. And we've got a special guest, Don Olson. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome back everyone, this is Dr. Clark again, and today we're talking with Don Olson, who's one of the trainers, one of the educators, one of our most important people here at the Center for Weight Loss Success. I'm gonna welcome her back, and we're gonna talk a little bit about drive-through dilemmas. Now, we've all been there. I've got four kids, and they're screaming in your ear, they wanna to go to McDonald's, they wanna to go to KFC. It's like, okay, what do you do? I'm trying to control my weight. What am I gonna do when I get to that drive-through and I've ordered the kids stuff and now it's, it's up to me. All right, Dawn, help me out. Well, ideally, we'd all have plenty of time to go, ho go ahead and go home, fix dinner, you know, make sure that everybody's satisfied and all that, but that's not really going to happen in today's world. Our kids are running here and there, we're running here and there, and, and sometimes the drive through is the lesser of two evils, really. Um, but we want to make good change or good choices while we're there, and there are some, but you kind of have to do your homework first, and then really take a, a look at the menu when you get there, too. Sometimes they've changed things, and, and you're not prepared for that. But know, I guess know your numbers first off. What is it that you're looking for? in your day and whether it's lunch or dinner sometimes you know if it's the end of the day you know really what you've got left but if you're looking at lunch or earlier your numbers may be a little more flexible so know what it is that you've got to work with first I guess um, for many of our patients especially we're looking to keep our carbohydrates down and a lot of us are looking to keep them either under 100 grams or under 50 grams for the entire day as far as effective carb and uh, when you're looking at a fast food menu, your options are kind of scary. There really aren't that many. Um, what do you typically order when you're pulling up to the drive through window? Uh-oh, you're going to make me confess <laughs> something here. Um, well, one, I do try to avoid, I will admit that I try to avoid the drive through and even sometimes when I take the kids, I still avoid ordering and try to eat, get my food somewhere else. But um, I break down sometimes. I can't say I'm always perfect. I'm not. But I do try to stick with the good protein source, which most places will have a grilled chicken or something along those lines um, with something that isn't too high carbohydrate. I mean, I'm, sometimes I feel like I'd kill for a McDonald's fries, but, you know, it, uh, I usually try to avoid that if I can. So, I, I hear you. Um I guess avoiding the fries or avoiding some of the sides is, is a great idea. Avoiding the supersizing, you know, that's really tempting if you're hungry and you're sitting at the window and they go, well, would you like to, you know, would you like to do a combo? Would you like to supersize that? Well, your first inclination is probably, well, sure, it's only an extra quarter or 50 cents. I mean, it, it makes financial sense to go ahead and get as much as you can, but that doesn't do us a favor in the long run. So, um, cutting back on, on the drinks, you know, you can order water with your meal. They don't normally frown on that. Or, you know, at least a, a diet type drink, either a diet lemonade or something like that. Um, you know, the supersizing is, is really probably what's gotten us into a lot of the trouble here in this country. We can ask for substitutions. Just because it's a combo meal that they have pictured up on their menu doesn't mean that they won't substitute maybe a small salad for the fries or, or something of that nature. It doesn't hurt to ask. So I guess when you're looking at the menu to start with, um, most fast food places offer a salad or even with the case of the sub sandwich places, they'll put the sandwich filling onto a bed of lettuce or whatever for you. So that's sometimes a really good option. But uh, watching the sugary drinks, the, the starchy sides, that's really gonna, gonna help. Now I've gone through a list of, of some of the fast food restaurants that seem to be right around here in our area and kind of did some comparisons. There are some good choices on all of their menus, some more than others, but um, you know, there, there will be some good options. So say we've got a Wendy's within walking distance here. I don't know if you walk over there very often, but occasionally myself or one of the staff do. 
And one of our better options there is maybe the chili. So if we pick up a large chili, um, you know, it's got 19 grams of protein in it, and there's a, well, there's about 30 gram, 30 grams of carbohydrates. I'm not sure if that's effective or not. I don't remember if they've got fiber on their label, but it's still one of the better options. Their right. salads. Go ahead. Uh, so unfortunately, at, at a lot of these places, they, they you can come up with some good options. Unfortunately, they have a ton of bad options too. And it sometimes, and I think we may have discussed this a little bit earlier, is that even though they they advertise or market some of their, gee, we could do this healthier, but reality is that they've actually kind of all the super sizes and the calories have actually gone up and up and up and up over the past few years. So they kind of they give lip service so to some healthy eating, but they don't necessarily do that much to help you out. That's true. Um, another one of the menu options on uh, the Wendy's Next Door is their Baconator, which comes in at a nice 670 calories. It's got 38 grams of protein, but it's also got 41 grams of carbohydrates. So that would just totally blow most of our day. Um, you're right. They uh, tend to push their starchier options, and that may be less, you know, more cost effective for them, but it's um, not going to help us in the long run. So just looking at the different options you've got, if you can do it ahead of time on the computer, you can go to their websites. McDonald's actually has a really nice feature on theirs because you can basically take your sandwich apart and it pieces it you know, one step at a time as to what you want to put on it. Um, that's any other sandwiches or actually any other salads as well. So that's kind of a nice feature, but so most of them just have so a look. You can, actually, you can kind of click on the bun and remove that, right? Exactly. So, Right. What the innards is, and if you want to get rid of the bun, then okay, that helps a lot. It does. It does. Um, some of the restaurants actually will put your burger or your grilled chicken uh, patty on a, uh, I guess, a lettuce leaf, if you will. Not all of them have that option. Some of them use shredded lettuce, and I think it's Hardee's or someplace. We'll actually put your chicken in a little cup with a little bit of lettuce with it, if you ask for it without the bun. So there right. are options. That, I have to say I've actually done that once, and but I was in Vegas. Oh. I, was at, I was at the In-N-Out Burger, which is a famous place in Vegas, and we got burgers without the buns and a lettuce wrap, and they were happy to do it. They actually did it all the time, apparently. So some places are really good about that. Sorry, I got distracted there. Let's keep going. No, that's good. But the one thing is, is you have to be more or less aggressive. You have to ask because they're not going to do it just for you. So asking for something the way you want it, whether you want the sauces left off of it or the cheese left off of it or all that extra bacon or, or something like that, you need to tell them what it is that you want. You've got the money in your hands, so you still get to make the final decision. Um, some of the places will also, you know, instead of a, a heavy-duty dessert type thing, they might have fruit for an option or some of the um, locale yogurt blends, uh, fat-free yogurt. Just depends on where you're at, I guess, really, what your options might be. But um, once again, just taking a look at the menu before you open your mouth and say what you want is going to be your best bet. All right. Now, one of the other common places around here, I'm going to throw one at you, is my kids love to go to Chick-fil-A. So, okay, I'm pulling the Chick-fil-A. What do I do? Well, Chick-fil-A also has a meal calculator, and that's really kind of nice, too, because you can add different things to your menu. You, I don't know that it actually takes the burger apart per se, but you can add one item after another and it gives you the grand totals. So you don't have to do the math in your head. So that's really good. Um, their grilled chicken nuggets are hard to beat. They really are. Um, I think it's six nuggets in a little container that you get. It's 140 calories, 23 grams of protein, and only four grams of carbohydrates. And I think that's due to the juices that they marinated in. But that's a fabulous um, option. Their Cobb salad's not bad either. 39 grams of protein and only 17 grams of carbohydrates. I can't remember what the calorie count on that one is, but it's I think it's under 500. Mm -hmm. So all sorts of good options. They also have a wrap if you still, you know, it's hard to eat some of these things if you're actually driving down the road. It's physically impossible to drive and eat a salad. It really is. So they've got a wrap option that is low carb, um, comes in at 36 grams of protein and only 15 grams of effective carbohydrates. They're, um, that's, that's cool that's wrap really or good. Yeah. 
So there are options if you plan ahead and, and know what's coming up or, or know what's on the way. Um, you you can manage to, um, I guess you'd say, avoid the uh, drive through dilemma. Right. So any other kind of specific kind of from a restaurant standpoint or kind of overall just tips that you have there? Well, the sit-down restaurants are, are always easier just because of the fact that most of them are used to making substitutions or there's maybe a few more choices. You have more time to make that decision, I guess is the big thing. Because when you're sitting in a drive through you've got cars behind you, you've got kids in the back seat probably, and time just seems to be more crucial and, and you tend to make bad decisions when you don't have enough time to think. So the sit-down restaurants aren't normally a, a major issue. All right. Well, very good. Well, look, we're going to kind of wind this down. Any, you know, any last tips, words of wisdom that you have there, Dawn, for us? Um, try to carry some snacks in your car so you don't become overly hungry. That's the worst time to pull up to a drive through window because, of course, you want to supersize it. Yes, you'll have the large frosty with that, and you just end up ordering more than you can actually eat anyway. But um, you always make the worst choices, I guess, when you're... Um, Defenses are down. Right. I think uh, also kind of, uh, you know, avoiding the breaded things, the fried things, because you can often get things grilled nowadays, and you get the same thing without the breading has a lot of carbohydrate in it, a lot of extra calories. It absorbs all the fat as well. So it drives calories, drives carbohydrates sky high with that, even though you'd think it wasn't that much, but it actually does. So getting something grilled is always a, a better option, too. Right, even KFC has grilled chicken now. It looks, I guess it's baked, it looks like it's still got the same seasoning on it, but it is grilled or baked, and uh, it doesn't have nearly as many carbohydrates as the original version. So there are good options out there. You just have to look for them. That's right. we got to be diligent because you never know when that next drive through dilemma is going to get you. All right, thank you very much, Don. That was a great little discussion. If you want more information, give us a yell here at the Center for Weight Loss Success. The, the corporate website is cfws.com. If you're just looking for more information overall, every single week I do a webinar that's live. You can ask questions. The way to sign up for that is go to our Losing Weight USA site, which is www.losingweightusa.com. Thank you all for listening. We'll touch base again on the next podcast. Take care, everyone.